Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well and living your very best life in Jesus Christ. This morning I received a call from a dear saint who is going through the winter. Not just the cold and snow and ice of our shared season, but a season of winter in her life. She's bravely dealing with difficulties on many, many fronts. Every day she's dealing with the illness of those she loves, and she's having to make decisions that will affect their long-term well-being, while still dealing with grief and pain on her own. When I talk to her, I can't help but pray for God to grant her strength in this desperate time of spiritual winter. And when I talk to her, I can understand why to her it must seem like this season of cold and ice and snow or just a reflection of what's going through her heart and her mind. And the truth is, unfortunately, she's not alone. We have several in our church who, although the details differ, are struggling with winter in their spiritual lives. And many times they ask me with a sigh if things will ever get better. In my mind, what they're asking me is, will the spring never come? <laughs> That's when I have to assure them that the cold and ice will not endure forever and that the warmth, the light, and the sunshine will return to their lives. I assure them that spring will return in God's good time. It reminds me of being a small child and receiving one Christmas a box set of the Chronicles of Narnia by Christian author and apologist C.S. Lewis. In the first book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, we're introduced to what they call the long winter, or the age of winter. Lewis describes how, because of the magic of the evil tyrant Jadis, the White Witch, the creatures have become used to never-ending ice and cold and have given up on ever seeing the spring. They live in constant hardship and have lost all hope of ever escaping this cruel winter. They can only just struggle to survive. Needless to say, though, I'll tell you the end, that spring does eventually come back to the magical land of Narnia with the return of the humans and the defeat of Jadis by Aslan, the lion. By the way, if you've never read these books, I highly recommend them as they're wonderfully written and very inspirational. My point is, is that there are times in our lives where we seem to be stuck in an endless winter. It's in these times that it seems our troubles will never cease, our worries and doubts will continue to grow, and our faith will truly be tested to the limit. But let me assure you that just as spring warmth came to Narnia, spring will appear right on time. And not just physical spring, but spiritual spring as well. In Genesis 8, where God promises he will never destroy the earth by water again, he tells Noah this, As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will never cease. And we all know that God always keeps his promises. Just as he promised us there will always be a spring after winter, no matter how harsh the winter may be, there will always be comfort during and after a trial. We just have to be willing to call upon him for strength in the midst of the trials and have the faith that he is in control and will work for our best, both in our tri trials and after. Also, let us remember that just as we are suffering here in our physical and spiritual winter, the world we live in is suffering as well. It's frozen in the icy cold grip of Satan. But, you know, just like we're promised a physical and a spiritual spring, we can be assured that the world will have a spring when Jesus returns. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 24 that as, just as there are signs of the return of spring, he gives us signs to look for. He concludes with, now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. So, today I call upon us to lift up in prayer our brothers and sisters who are in the seeming long winter of their life and support them, check on them, send them cards, give them a phone call, let them know that you're praying for them. 
let us remind them and ourselves that the spring will return after the long winter. And in that same way, Christ will return for us with the eternal sunshine of his love, his mercy, and his grace. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm waiting for spring. And what a wonderful spring that's going to be. I hope you make today a fantastic day. I want you to know that I'm here should you need me. And I love you all. <laughs>